we are switching to 10 a.m. So if you're watching the replay and you're like, hey, I thought it came at four, we've switched our Thursday lives to 10 a.m. to work with our kids. Um, school schedule as well as summer and football chair, all of those things. Um, if you have signed up for text notifications, you should have gotten a text that we went live. So hopefully that worked. Um, everything you're going to see today, you can buy at jrbhome.com. We got a big pallet in yesterday. Yes, we did. And lots of fun stuff. Lots of antiques from Europe. We got some handmade things. It's going to be good. Yeah, we were so excited. And it was funny because the pallet... We, so not funny, but with what's going on in the world and gas situations, especially down south, we ordered this pallet um, the beginning of May, mm -hmm. and it just was available last night. And normally they would deliver it, but it wasn't going to be delivered <laughs> for two more days. <laughs> so Zev and I uh, made the trek into by the airport in Salt Lake and picked up the pallet, and then we processed it in our front yard because I was like, well, we don't have time to take it to the shop, process it there load up the truck, bring it here. I'm like, we'll just do it. And it was just funny because like neighbors were walking by. Like inventorying stuff out on the grass. <laughs> <laughs> inventorying on the grass, photographing on the front porch. I feel like we really introduced the new neighbors of the farmhouse to what it's like to be a junker, picker, reseller. They're going to love it when I start spraying furniture in the driveway. They yeah. always do though. Everybody's always like, hey, what are you doing? When are you making? Be like, look at all my junk. <laughs> Anyways, we're super excited. We're going to go ahead and get started here. Let me pull up comments. Oops. It's not showing me. I'm using an iPad. I'm not, oh, there we are. There Should we be go. right there on top. All right, so we've got, first off, this stuff right in front of me. We've got some boxwood greenery. And these are great, they're heavy. They're, they're not like light little fluffy, lightweight plastic. They, they have some good heft to them. They're like the heavy plastic, they're like legit. So these are listed in our floral collection. Caitlin just dropped a link. If you're watching the replay, it's always good to watch live chat because you're gonna see links. Um, yeah. These are six ninety five dollars stem, and I like them. Show them what just one stem looks one like stem. in the water jug. Yeah, one stem will do it. I mean, this jug's pretty big. Yeah, if it would hold it up, it would do it. Well, this is like wider than a quart mouth. Like, this is, this, so this is probably like a wide mouth quart jar as far as the opening goes. And you can see there, it's still got some pretty, uh, it's still filling that up pretty well. Yeah, these are great. They're six ninety five. They're 16 inches tall. Two is going to fill up a water jug, but one would be fine for like a vase or whatever. And I love greenery and I'm always really picky about buying good full greenery. I hate chintzy greenery. Well, I'm just looking at it in the camera here. I'm like, man, this, this wood uh, water jug with the greenery in the top is just bringing a lot of, uh, a lot of fun energy to our lives this morning. <laughs> some plastic energy it's waterproof botanicals you know what um, you know it's it's you don't have to water it it's not gonna die your these cat won't eat it donna says when you have cats these are hefty enough that I, you could probably do some pretty serious dusting if you're into dusting your greenery little black house says love covering my junk with your stencils and decoupage paper the little black house i have seen some of your projects they're so cute i saw you used our new big french stencil um, and you've been doing some fun stuff. So thanks for sharing that out. Donna says that, uh, or Jane says that her cats eat the fake plants too. <laughs> yeah. We can. I'm pretty sure that Chewy and Han, our sheep, would try because they try to eat everything. But then once it doesn't taste good, they don't keep eating. Yeah, like they won't eat the straw that, they, like they nibbled on it once, the straw in their bed that I'm using for their bedding. And then they're like, oh no, we don't like that. These are a little bit bigger. And I would say definitely these are like thicker leaves, a little better quality like even nicer quality. I want to say it's better, just nicer quality than the boxwood. These are $9.95 and they're 17 inches. And I like it because they have the eucalyptus berries on the top, like the buds that aren't quite open yet. So those are kind of fun. And these look really good year round. So that's the nice thing about green greenery. Is that green greenery? Yeah. Um, is you can use it four seasons and then you just add different florals or motifs. Like I feel like if you put this with a bunch of these in here, and maybe like some glittery little decor item here, you could turn this into Christmas. for Like the a summer. red ribbon or something. Yeah, you know. for summer, you add some lemons into your decor. You don't have to really swap out your green greenery. So while we're talking about all the greenery, the jugs are, there's a drop down menu when you're shopping on the website at jrvhome.com. And this is the B, out. which is 10 by seven, to give you a size reference. This one is D, which is 12 by five. And they're all various sizes, made out of different woods, different colors. This is the F. It's seven and a quarter by uh, by four and a half. 
and this one's a little bit smaller, so you might have to do some bending on your stems or whatever if you're going for this same look or, you know, whatever you want to do with these. We did not paint the jug. So these are actually hand-turned antique water um, jugs. Yep. And this is just the way that they come to us. That's why they're all a little bit different. And they're just hewing them out of like rough cut logs. Like sometimes the turned design doesn't go all the way through because there's, there's a divot or something in the wood. All right, so this is C. This one actually looks almost like a barrel. I've not actually had one like this I before. I like that barrel one. Yeah, this one's really cool. I actually like this if one if you want to do a bunch of greenery, you really could make a big impact in this. And you could also, this one would be great to flip upside down and use as a riser, like if you had like a cloche or a dome. Oh yeah. This one would work both ways. So these are $49.95 for these because they are legit old. They're all a little crusty. Make sure when you're doing things that have variants that you're checking the letter when you're picking it because each picture is lettered and don't laugh. I was in a hurry and I used my little finger to put the letters, not my normal app. So it, they're legit. Every picture is a handwritten letter with my finger on my phone. <laughs> there were, it's real homespun today. Yeah. All right. Um, Lisa says, thanks for the text. If you're just joining us, we were a little late, so you're not like, miss, you haven't, haven't missed, missed much. Money. So tro trophy is in decor. This one needs a little tightening. I can arrange for that. It looks like it's just got a nut that's come loose on the bottom. Um, these are engraved in Spanish. In Espanol. So you get a Spanish It looks like it was a summer camp. Decor. Is a summer camp trophy or something like that. Thirty-eight ninety-five. They're not super old. They're from ninety-nine, which we're gonna just say is retro. I, <laughs> I feel like that breaks into the vintage, though. Uh, it's twenty-two years ago, but they are cool and they've got great patina and they're not repops. And there, you get luck of the draw. There's this one and this one. I didn't do variants on them because they're really similar in style. So yeah, they're really cool. And I like the base is like really, is the base wood? Yes, the base is Oh yeah, you wood. just tighten this up. Yep, it's got a little bolt in the bottom. I'll so tighten this up. it's brass and the base. They do have some character, you know, they've been around for 22 years. So $38.95, we only have two of these. And a lot of these items, so like the water jugs, um, sometimes I can get more of them. They're all individual, but like these, it's two and done. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna are... get more of them because my picker will find interesting things for me and be like, hey, I just have a couple of these, you want them? Because they do sell in mass quantities of certain things, but she knows what I like and when she's out picking and finds good stuff or she has people that pick in other countries like Mexico. Yep. She finds, and they actually go to Mexico, so that's probably where these came from. All right, so these are not old or antique, but I love these. This might be something that I have Ty start making once he gets caught up. Um, these are just butter spreaders. They're handmade. Um, or you could even use them for cheese knives, but they're eight ninety five. You can smear your cream cheese on your bagel. And these are these are luck of the draw. If you order these, they come in various sizes and things. I don't know. Should that one be maybe price different? No, they're all the same. They cost me all the same. <laughs> they're handmade by a guy. I could look it up. Um, I don't know if they put it in the description. We just got- They're uh, all gonna spread the butter equally well. So they're made by Glendon Boyd. He's a fifth generation woodworker in Blue Ridge Mountain community. He, he's 89. These are made by an 89 year old. Like, he's probably using just out scrap, scrap wood too, yep. to do these. Um, these butter spreaders are pleasing, made in an assortment of black walnut, oak, and maple and made in the United States. So these are really awesome. I That's why I bought them. I know that Ty's doing a lot of stuff, but you know, I'm wondering if he does kind of like your dad does and he goes and like gets his own wood. That's why they're all different types. So of my wood. dad just got his kiln made and it's legit. He's got like automatic timers on it and he's, he's getting his wood graded so that he can build with it. Cause he's like, nope, I'm not doing lumber prices down at the Home Depot. No offense, Home Depot, but it's getting crazy down there. <laughs> it is crazy, yeah. Also, I was gonna tell you guys, and I just like to be honest with you, shipping prices will be going up like in the next couple of months. Every product that we carry, I feel like is gonna be going up in the next couple of months. So I've been kind of stocking up at really great prices, but eventually you're probably gonna see an increase in stuff. So if you are planning ahead for like what you're gonna be doing in the next year, decorating wise, holiday wise, gift giving, whatever, now is a really great time to buy if you can. Well, stuff's because, getting scarce. Like it's getting real. Like last year we were like, okay, oh, everything. There's never a shortage of junk. Well, yeah, but, but last year we we're like, oh, everything's mm -hmm. delayed, and now 
everything's like, uh, so like this stuff, we used to be able to get like 10 of these at once. She only had four. Yeah, that's just how they come in. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up. I'm not trying to make you like scarcity buy because that's not my, but if you see us in the next few months and you see prices increase, it's not because we're like trying to increase our market share. It's just because that's just what's happening with shipping and whatnot. So you're also going to start seeing some sprinkling of Christmas. We'll show you the column bases and we'll show you what I got um, for Christmas. In. So these, I know are, it's made. these are off of old buildings that they salvaged. I believe, where did these come from? Are these oh. from... Hold on just a second. The wood spreaders are $8.95 in case we forgot to tell you about those. $8.95. So, and I put those in flat rate shipping. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. So this one is 7 by 9 by 9. This is column base D. And you can see, let me show you where it used to be attached to the building. You can see these square little wood pegs that they use to uh, attach them to the roof or the column. And then they would have a big post that went into here coming down and there'd probably be a hundred of these on a building but they're uh they're all different shapes and sizes this one's fun so we'll show both of the blue ones they're 79.95 we don't paint them i don't know if they're importer that imports these paints them because it doesn't look like it's super old paint it's the same color on these different column bases yeah. so i'm guessing they're doing that to them no, but we did not paint them they're 79.95 they're all hand carved they've got cracks Jane Brown loves these. She said, oh no, more column bases. Um, and every single variant will have like the letter along with the measurements next to the letter. So that way you can check that out. Yep. Here, I'll show you these two as well. So we've got four this time around. These are, these are great for risers or putting stuff on or you know, you put it, uh, as, they work as a good centerpiece too. They do. So they're $79.95 for these. I have four of them, two white, two blue. Um, and I've told you guys this before, but I'll remind that I know we have a lot of newbies here on JRV Home. There is free shipping on all the clothes, which we're going to get to here in a little bit. And also, if you spend over $200, there's free shipping to the 48 contiguous states. So disclaimer there on that one. And this is our home decor website. We have two websites, so we like to make sure people know what's up. Hey, Missy, she's going to watch the replay. Her class is getting ready to start. Have fun in class. Thank you, Barbara, for sharing this on your Facebook page. You guys, it would be a huge help to us, especially lately. Like YouTube is, I don't want them to hear this, but YouTube has not been our friend. We haven't been getting the play on our videos as much. So if you watch a video and it's something you think that your friends would like, if you'd hit that share button and share it, you know, tweet it out, put it on Facebook, stick it in your community tab if you have a channel, that would be a huge help to us because we're trying to get our videos out there and grow. We're trying to up our game. We've got, uh, we've been using microphones the last couple videos. I've been doing thumbnails. This one isn't done yet, but. I feel like every time. Like the thumbnails, give us a, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> I feel like every time we try real hard, we're like those videos never do as well. And then the videos that we took 20 minutes on that we don't expect to do well take off. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, come on. All right, so we've got a ton of vintage postcards and how are we doing these, Jamie? So those are $1.95 a piece. Let me double check and they should be in free shipping. They're really fun. I actually need to go through them. There's like 200 and I only put 100 in stock because I'm gonna pull out all the ones with writing on them. But like they're vintage postcards, they're luck of the draw. So if you order one, you're not going to like get to pick the specific one because it would be a million years listing them individually and it's not worth a dollar ninety five for me to do that. But I love, I know there's a lot of people that love random items. So I tried to price them at a way, especially with free shipping, that if you wanted to do a project with some vintage postcards or whatever that... These would make really cool book, uh, like... Uh... Oh, they are in free shipping. Thanks, Caitlin. Oops, I, I was pretty it. sure I did that. Like I said, a lot this stuff came in just like super late yesterday, so I was trying to get everything accurate. We did um, hire Ashley is our new um, JRV home website manager and shipping manager. And um, we broke so her we, in good yesterday. We're training her and working with her. She's actually Caitlin's we're first like, Here's cousin a computer, go. on the other side of the of the family and she's been working for us for a little bit but now she's going to be doing the home website because christy got a new big girl uh 40 hour a week in the office plus benefits job so we're going to miss christy but ashley is doing awesome these are so random <laughs> they are so great there's there's some really good um like hawaii ones i don't know why these are so exciting to me like who gets postcards this is anymore? pineapple fields okay there's a monument here 
But a lot, we, we've got 200. I think they make really good bookmarks. Yeah, they're awesome. So, oh, Patty said put tissue in the bottom of the pot to hold the greenery up. There you go. So that way it doesn't fall down. That's really smart. Or you know what else I would do too? Maybe put some pinto beans in the bottom to give it some weight because sometimes these tend to be a little bit tippy because of the nature of what they are. So if you put some weight in there, it helps them out. All right, so we've got these brass bowls with the beads around them. Kayla says Ashley's doing good. Yeah, we're super excited. She's actually gonna be, you'll notice the home website is going to be as beautiful and organized as the Jamie Ray Vintage website because Caitlin is taking Ashley under her wing as her protege um, and helping that out. All right, so these are brass bowls. Um, some of them are brass and, brass and uh, stainless, or stainless, stainless, maybe. But they're tarnished, and they are handmade in Mexico, and they're actually old and amazing. I love these. Oh, they got all. They all have a little bit of different patina on them. Leslie said a lot of people like writing if they are old. I'll probably wind up counting them out, Leslie, and then offer them with writing and without. There's not that many that have writing. Yeah, most of them are blank. Yep, these are $28.95 for these brass bowls. I love the tarnish on that one. And these are kind of luck of the draw, so they're fun. Um, Billy says also you can put felt dots on the bottom so they won't rock. That is smart. I love it. Um, Day Trip Vintage Company says she uses tissue paper, but she likes the pinto bean idea. So can you show them these dough bowls? Oh. Yes, I'll show them the dough bowls. I've um, got all kinds of dough bowls right here. The pinto bean idea I actually got because I've seen people do it in dough bowls. This one's kind of small, but on the larger dough bowls, to fill one up, especially with greenery and decor, is very expensive. So people fill the bottom with pinto beans to keep them from rocking. And it also allows you to put stems in your dough bowl and arrange it um, without spending, because pinto beans, I mean. And push comes to shove, you can just eat the pinto beans. So when you're looking at these in the collection, when you're like, oh, dough bowls, um, make sure you're getting the right one on the drop down because there's a picture of all the dough bowls and what the sizes are. And then there's a drop down that you can click so and see. Like and each one, price two. will populate depending on which one you click. Um, so we've, we've been out of stock on a lot of these smaller ones. We've it got a few been in. A pain. And now we're all restocked on dough bowls, except for I think like one size. Yeah. Let me see if I can find these in here. Looks like somebody just bought a butter spreader. All right. So this is the smallest one we carry. And I love this because it's great for like by the door, little entry table, you toss your keys, your wallet in there. Um, and then we've got this larger, longer size. All of these are great key holders. Some of them get a little large for that, but I just like the shape and the size of them. Because if you, so we've got four people that drive in this house. So, you know, we got all the keys here. <laughs> I'm gonna give you pricing. This is number one, $15.95. This is our least expensive of this style dough bowl. Yep. And these are- so Handmade, these, but not all. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. These are handmade and they're not, they're stained on there, but they still have the look. I love the look of them. $21.95, number two. This is great for like a breakfast table too when you can't like have a giant breakfast one. Yep. This is uh, number three. It's $24.95. I like these for coffee tables, for shelves, for even a fireplace if you don't want to take up the entire mantle. We have a bigger one we'll show you in a little bit. The big one's coming. So where is the big one? Um, this is the number four. Oh, it's it's $32.95. So and this one these are getting, just the ones that have been out of stock. This we one's have getting more, bigger. I'm just showing you the ones that have been gone for a while. And then this is the big mamma jamma. It is great for long This one's like situations. three feet long. Okay, so this is number six and it's $41.95. And this is one that I love for like long stems. You could fill this with Here, lemons. Here, let's show with those greeneries. Those are a little long for them, but But I you think... could cut the greenery to yeah. make it fit. But like, this is really pretty. Just like a simple design. I actually would do maybe two of these, one on each side. One facing each And it's direction. okay if it like flops off the end. You just want the stem inside. Yeah. But I love these on fireplaces brings or a really little, skinny farm tables. Bring some nice wood earth tones into your decor and you got the greenery, bring the outside in. These are really great on table runners too. Like uh, I have a huge centerpiece on my table. It's not super. Uh, I'd show you, but there's a bunch of boxes over yeah. there. <laughs> it's, it's not super effective. We can show you when we're done. I'll show you my centerpiece because we actually sell the crate that I use, but my table's very narrow and so Sometimes people have to skinny up when they eat in the middle of my table. All right, so we've got some antique European dough bowls here. 
This one, what is, does this have a number on it? Um, so I think that that is, hold on just a second. I really Sorry, love this not, style. because this just came in, these did not get price tags put on them. Really love this style with like the handles on the end of them. Yeah, that one is great. And that's one of the, so these are antique European. Sorry, my phone's being slow. Why is this not? I'm just gonna calmly look through this. Sometimes I get like, so there we go. So these are the small European doubles. This is the smallest European one that we've had. And this one is $99.95 for this one. And this is actually legit, like old, came from Europe, not just handmade reproduction. So these are more expensive, obviously. But I'm They're excited so to have fresh. this one. They are, we'll wipe them out a little bit. Um, I'm excited to have these because a lot of people want the antique European ones and they're normally ginormous, like the one that's behind Zeb. <laughs> the, the one that huge. I fixed. Not everybody likes big, bigger isn't always better. So this one is A and it's $99.95. And then this one is B and it's $159.95. And they're legit old, they have cracks. This one has a crack in it, so we're actually gonna glue it and clamp that before we ship this one out. You know what I love? This one has a hole drilled in it. So somebody probably had a piece of leather and they hung this on their wall. And then when they met, went to make bread, they would pull it down. I love it when they've got that in there. So yeah, we'll get this one all shored up for you. Yeah, these were used to, when you would make a uh, bread and you would want it to rise, you make your bread, put it in there, cover it with like a flour sack cloth or cheese cloth, let it rise in a warm area. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the way I use mine for fruit. <laughs> and then recently, ours now, are like fruit centerpieces every yeah, week. Yeah. I'm a little low on fruit right now, but I just put in my Costco order so it will be full again. But we recently had a Cinco de Mayo party and I put tortilla chips in it and I put it at the end of my nacho bar and everybody was like, now that is a tortilla bowl and I'm like, right? <laughs> Let's see, have these, these have been out of stock too, haven't they? The three whole yes. cheese molds. But we've had the one, we've had the five, but now we've got the three whole cheese molds. These are great for little collections or if you've got, I don't know, a lot of times people use them for parties to like separate out stuff. My mom said that she would keep it by her sewing and, and sort like buttons and things in it. Oh yeah. For sure, if you've got little things that you like to separate, or you can just put like little plants in them, or it's probably one of the most popular ways to use it. Like we carry some cement pots that would be super cute in there. So um, these fit? are- Have we tried that? Um, no, but I know that they would work. <laughs> $22.95, these are handmade, so they're all slightly different. And anytime you get a wood item that's handmade, just know that there could be imperfections, knots, chip stings. That's part of the joy that is handmade. And yep. actual wood, not like, stamped out in a factory like someone legit like cut this and carved it out and made it awesome they may have used some like electric tools but this wasn't done by like a factory where it went down a conveyor belt all right so i feel like this is like a little pre-christmas here or winter decor it is it's the only christmas item that we have like, like i said you're gonna see me start ordering seasonal stuff now while the shipping and availability is going on so I'm like, if I'm not, I don't want to over order just because we may be moving by Christmas. Um, the, the shop, shop. Yeah. not us, the shop. But uh, we, <laughs> I've been trying to sprinkle in some new stuff. So I'm, I'm trying to be responsible. To give you an idea of size, they're, they're smaller wreaths. They would be good as like a wreath within a wreath within a wreath. So I actually photographed this wreath on my, I have like this vintage uh, hobby horse that's like, it's like paper mache, what would you say? It's like cast, yeah. I don't know. It's really old, but this is around its head. I thought it was funny. These are 1995 and I like them because there's lots of berries. I'm picky. I don't like it when you buy things and they're chintzy in the berries. Like give me all lots the berries. Of berries. So lots of berries, lots of glitter and cuteness. And it's got a little loop on the top, which I like. So you don't have to tie a ribbon around it. You can just tie, if you don't like this one, you could just tie a ribbon in the top. And this actually would also be cute on an old window or if you've got oh, like yeah. a cool old frame and you just want a smaller wreath to hang in the frame, this is the perfect size. So that's why I like this size wreath. All right. Let's, here oh, I'll show Oh, Linda says try candles in the three hole cheese molds. Oh, yeah. like these wax candles would be good. We may start carrying hand dipped candles. That's coming, it's on the list. All right, so these are cool. These are brass, um, heavy duty, like, 
definitely weapon grade. Look, this is like sharp. Get out of my house, weapon grade decor. And this is a pomegranate. Is it a pomegranate? It is a pomegranate. So this is a pomegranate top. Okay. Oh, that's why it's got that. I thought that was for holding like a makeup brush or something. I didn't know. <laughs> I would have never thought about that. And these are $12.95. I think for $12.95, these are a really good deal because of the way that they're made. They're really good quality. And they would work well for change or your jewelry next to the kitchen sink. How cute would that be to like put your jewelry out before you do your dishes or keep your little sponge in there? And they're all a little bit um, different. So I don't know if they're handmade or what the story is, but they all have a little bit different wear. They're not completely smooth on the back Well, they're probably side. cast and they probably made one mold and then they cast some stuff and then they made two molds and then they I cast love all the stuff. pits though. Like that's what makes it good. Yeah. Right, so Donna liked the picture of the uh, horse with the wreath around Yeah, I thought it was pretty ingenious. That, that's my front porch right there. All right, so I, I call this a silver platter with gold handles. It's not. It's neither silver nor gold. I don't know. What would you say that that's made of? Mm, it's hard to say. It's got some good pitting in it. Good pitting. It looks like pewter, but I'm pretty sure that it's not. Um, and it, the way that it's made, though, is very handmade style. Like, the edge is not completely perfect. I love the the tree branch handles. It rings like it's tin. Yeah, it, it's heavy duty. So this is $32.95 and it's 16 and a half by 13. I put in the description like that it was heavy and that it was not actual silver and gold. I mean, I don't think anybody- But the handles are great. Silver and gold They've for $32.95. Like they're like a, like a berry branch or something. For sure. This would also be cute with a dome on it or like a candle display. You could use it as a party for like a charcuterie tray or cheese and crackers or Whatever. I just liked it. I've never seen anything like it, and so I ordered six because they were cute. All right, windows back Linda in says, stock. I can't see your thing for the plants. Caitlin, would you drop the three? Are you talking about the three hole cheese mold, Glenda? I, Caitlin, just drop that above, but she can drop that uh, link again. The tray may be chrome. No, it's not chromed. Mm, yeah, I don't know. It just looks like it's highly polished. Yeah, whatever. It's it hard it's to describe. Like, it's real shiny, so it's showing up real bright on camera. But it's not like, yeah. It's not like the chrome that peels off of stuff. It's not that. So these ones, these windows are really popular. We have some of the square ones left, but the attic window, and then what's this one called? This one has... This uh, is the Amelia. We Amelia. were absolutely 100% sold out of the, the, the Amelia window. So they are $25.95 each, I think. Let me double check. Yep, $25.95 each. These are great. Imagine this with like a smaller size wreath like this in front of it. They pair really well. You could do a green boxwood. You could do a lemon wreath is really cute for summer on these. So I like that. You can also take, I have done this before, and like just put like a sprig of greenery with some sort of like burlap ribbon. I think that is really cute in front of these windows as well. So this one's tall and skinny. This one's short. You know what back. would be cool is to like hang like dried herbs. Oh on yeah, it. yeah. We get a little homesteading on. So these are all handmade too, so that they're slightly different. They are also made of wood. So definitely, if you've been waiting to get our windows with no glass, I would stock up on them before the prices of wood creep up into our window section. All right, Caitlin's dropping the links. Thanks, Caitlin. All right, next, let's talk about these ones. These are pairs of windows. The thing about these is I don't sell them as much online. I don't know why, but in the shop, Jean can attest to that in the shop, when we post these next two, oh, are those stuck together? These ones are stuck together. I'm trying to see if it's there nailed. Go. Nope, it wasn't nailed, it was it just, was just stuck. So these we put next to large portraits over our fireplace. And we sell them a pair a week or more. Here, we can show time. them how we do it. Where's that picture? Well, these aren't going to match that frame. No, here, we've got the white ones too. It? I don't know. Where did the pictures go? That's right here. So, so these we've got are those yesterday. ones. We've got the white options for you. Oh, this, so this is... is not quite big enough. I would say I'd probably use a bigger picture, but imagine a picture with a window on here, each side. That side. This is how we stage them at the shop. Usually our pictures are slightly bigger. You know, like the ones that we have, we have ones that have sheep on them in stock that we carry and we hang that over our fireplace with these pairs and they always sell. So I'm super excited to have these back because we've been sold out. If you wanted to see how these turned out, we did these in yesterday's video on uh, Waste Not Wednesday. We had these old foam frames that were kind of painted, kind of not, looked like someone had spray painted one. 
Let me um, see if they have many pedestals, Ginger. Sorry. And we just, we just took cardboard. We still have to finish the back a little bit, but that we'll get that taped up nice so it's looking cleaner. But just cardboard with our JRV decoupage paper. This is the sheep in the forest paper. And then this is just painted and it's got some, uh, did you use um, golden ticket on these? Yes, we did. So those yeah. windows are $79.95 for the pair of those windows. So you get both sides for $79.95, which is oh, a pretty good deal for like She's talking the about size. these again. Sorry, I didn't give them the price. $79.95 for these. So. And we also, if you don't want the colors or you want to do your own coloring on them, we have like, them in brown. They come in this stained brown wood tone. I actually really love the brown, but I carry all the colors when I can. So these particular um, prints, sorry, I don't remember, how much do we have on these? This one already sold. That one sold? Let's see, let me find this on here. I think they were $69.95 for these. These are the ones we did yesterday. Does everyone want to show them up close? Yeah. Because remember how I said after the live video yesterday that they were going to continue to like chip and get crappy? They totally chipped a ton more after everything dried out all the way and I was super excited. You can see the crackle in the corner. So these are $69.95. So these are the ones that we did yesterday. And the, the sheep one sold that's just sheep. And then the grain sack one that has the sheep and the pig on it, those ones are still available. So because of all the layers, some people were asking why, why all the layers? Um, and you can see up in here too, it got real chippy. Um, the, the layers are what give it kind of its texture and They make it look, look legit old. And it takes a lot of layers and a lot of paint and a lot of steps. And you just, somebody's like, well, you need to put that next to like just one layer and show the difference. I'm like, just picture the difference between something you would just buy at like the home decor store with one layer of paint that's all boring. And then one with lots of layers. Did you show them the one that we have still available? Is that oh. Good? So that one sold last night, like as soon as I got it listed, but this other one is still available. This other one actually has the chippier of the two frames. It's the one that I was wet distressing a ton. So this is the other one. And we're going to take and put uh, packing tape on the back to make it nice and neat. If you guys saw how we added that. I don't have the grain sack one in the listing. I do, Caitlin. Is it a drop down? Uh, I probably just didn't include the picture. That's what it is. All right. Sorry about that, Caitlin. I'm going to add the picture. So you can see uh, it got real chippy over here. And that's why all the layers. We could easily just like spray this with some paint, one solid color, and it looked great. It had a lot of fun detail. It looked really good. But we're going for recreating old finishes. That's what we love. All right, I've got that in there. I'll go ahead and attach the photo so that way whoever buys it knows which one they're getting. And then even though this is on cardboard, it's got, Jamie sanded this just a little bit and then white waxed it. And it's got like lots of good age and almost like it's crackled from time. Yeah, I think they turned out really awesome for what they were when we started. All the, all the money in those is what we did to them, not what they started out with. That's why I love making things over with junk. All right, I added that picture in there, Caitlin, thank you. So we've got one of those available still. Um, let's see, what else do we need to show? Let's show those messenger bags are really cool. Those are back in stock, but we've got different sizes and colors. Um, and we've got... I'm just going to clear off some space over okay. here. Okay, I'm going to pull them up here. Oh, somebody just bought the smoking cowboy print. <laughs> I don't know if it was online or in the shop. Okay, so these are really cool. These are the messenger bags we've had before. These are made from old mail sacks, so some of them will have... They're all different, you guys. Some of them will have patches and they flop over like this. They've got pockets inside, outside. They're really kind of shabby. These are perfect for stenciling. Um, some of them have raw edges. And we have the large white, which white is a loose term for the color that this is. Let's say beigey brown, because they were <laughs> actually used mail sacks. And then we have this rust color, which is new. We haven't had that before. Some of them have these cool grommet, um, handles on them. And these big ones I think are, let's see, $12.95 and these are free shipping guys. So just expect like super shabby. I just don't want to like misrepresent these, but these look awesome with Here, I'll show you up close. On them. And then we also have a smaller size that we haven't had before. And then, hey Amy. Um, and the, it's $9.95 for this 
smaller size. So there's a pocket sewn in here. It's hard to kind of see on camera probably. And then on these small ones, they also have a pocket on the outside and they used where the drawstring would go to hold it onto the basket for sorting. They used this as the strap and they just cut it and left the rough edges. And then it's just, so this had its original hem there around that, but you can see the age. I mean, sometimes these got left outside or they got rained on run into trucks and they just have a ton of really good wear on them. Yeah, so they're awesome. And they're just made from old mail sacks. These I actually think would be cool for Halloween costumes. Like there's a lot of Halloween costumes where I feel like they need kind of an industrial size style bag and you could use it as your treat bag. But I go with the large ones, you guys, because after most people didn't trick or treat last year because of the situation that we have going on, people are gonna wanna be trick or treating lots of candy this year. So if you need one of these for a costume, I think they'd be cool anyways. I was super excited to get these back in stock. I just like that we have the, the colors, like you don't see this color yeah, very rest. often. So Zeb said this was red, I said it was brown, we settled on rust. <laughs> I'm like, that is not red, but it also isn't brown. Way in, is this like a reddish or would you call this brown? Thrifty, Mitzi, these would be amazing to put a stencil on because the fabric is so porous, it would accept it really, really well. Um, and then just heat set it and go. So yeah, I might actually, if they don't all sell out, I might do a project with them um, and do a video on because it'd yeah. be fun to do like our French logo it would be amazing with those. So we've got six of the small ones, seven of the red ones, and seven of the big white ones. Leslie says, I wish I could find the foam frames. Me too. My, the ones that we had that we did those with came from Marlene and they're old. Like the foam was all yellowy and kind of like dried out. So I think we showed Oh, are we ready to show this? We haven't shown everything over here yet. Oh, you still have some seltzer bottles and... Yes. So these are, we have water bottles like this that are like not tarnished and old looking. These are tarnished and old looking and I got a deal on them. And so these, instead of being like, I think the other ones are $39.95. Yep. These are half price, they're $19.95. So they're really cool. Um, basically they just were sitting around in a warehouse for a while. They weren't, they're new their new old stock. Yeah. And that's why they're a little bit tarnished. So those are here. Let's see if I've got the picture. They've got a plastic seal ring or well it's it's like Oh they're sixteen ninety five. Even oh. better. This keeps getting better rest. and better. But they've got this little rubber seal on the says top. They're rust. they're rust. You know that's still kinda gonna be red. That's not brown. Yeah. I couldn't pass these up. We don't have a ton of them at this price point. So when they sell out they're gone, they're gone. But they were cleaning out their warehouse and like, you want a deal on these? And I'm like, yes, I want a deal. All right, we also got these uh, English seltzer bottles. They're Ben Shaw, they're these back are my, in stock. These are my favorite. I just love the way the bottle is shaped. Well, it says B Shaw and Sons on there. The bottle shape is really great. Um, they've got the logo on the top. Some of them come with a little bit of water in them. Oh, Marlene says she found those frames at her local DI, those foam frames. Um, these seltzer bottles are, dun, 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 I'm waiting for it to, $39.95. So we had the ones before, we sold out, we we're able to get some more of them. So hopefully it's something we can reorder, but I'm not sure. I think we have six. Okay. Leslie says, my thrift store charges for art that nobody wants except to upcycle. <laughs> Be like, can I just buy the frame? You keep that art. Let me just make sure. I'm looking, we showed, did we tell them how, the long stems we showed I don't before, think we should talk about them. So let's yeah. do that real quick. And then we'll get into clothes and we'll show them what I've got on my. Yeah, if you, if you hang out till the end, you're going to be able to see what's over here on the, uh, the table. I'll go clear that off real quick. All right. So we've got these long stems are like 40 ish inches tall. The actual measurement is in the description. They work really good in the long doubles, but also really good in big, tall pots. Oh, Zeb, I need that metal enamel bucket outside. The big one? Yeah, just grab me one that has the handles on it. Um, let me pull up the price on this. Zeb left me to fend for myself, so hopefully I can stay on point. Tall. These were photographed. If you find the photograph listing, these were photographed on our swing that I never waxed. There's like a big old ice cream stain on the swing. Um, they're $18.95, which is a really great deal for how big these are. And speaking of big, this is the biggest, most expensive item that we're, you're going to see today. I bought three of them. 
And one of them says green, but I'm gonna switch it to dark gray. Two are blue, one says green, but it's actually gray. Last night, I swear it looked green, but today it looked more gray. So I, I need to update that listing. Gray. Yeah, but there's like blue gray, and then there's gray gray. Hold on, let me see, recently updated. Let me find this big mama jamma. So these are almost like a ginormous cauldron. Dun, dun, dun. And I think they're 180. They're legit old, they're not repops, so they're gonna have wear on them, but I've gotta find the listing. Caitlin will probably find it before I have. Jane, wow, I knew Jane would like that. Oh, there it is. So, oh, thank you, Caitlin, already changed the listing. So we have one that's dark gray, and then two that are blue, and they're $188.95 for these big ones. So they're super awesome. I actually reserved one for myself that I'm gonna be planting in. So I'll show you the inside. I've never found old um, enamel buckets like this before that are this big and they're heavy and they have handles on them. So if you're feeling splurgy or you got some leftover Mother's Day cash to spend, this is definitely something I'd splurge on. It's a bougie item for show. You could also probably like bathe a kid in there or a dog. All right. Or a dog. That is not a skipping bucket. That is, that is definitely nope. That's not like a, a skipping only bucket. fill it up halfway bucket because you won't be able to lift it if you fill it up all the way. Welcome Lynn Ann to Creative Business Skills. Lynn, um, make sure you email Mariah so she can get you added into the Facebook group. The email should have been in there when you signed up and we'll get you into business coaching. We're excited to have you in there. It's gonna be fun. It's every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. All right, close. Did you make sure all the rust is gone before we start showing off? The yeah, place? that's what I was wiping off. We had some crusty stuff that's got that's still kind of farm fresh that we haven't cleaned up yet. All right, so everything. So Jamie was getting ready this morning and putting things on the website. So I got to go run to the shop and grab the clothes. And Jean helped me get all the tags, the right tags on everything. So hopefully this is right. Um, but every I was noticing everything's like real light, airy, soft. Um, you know, Jamie doesn't. Uh, she doesn't do non-comfortable clothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, life's too short to be wearing uncomfortable clothes. I'm gonna pull this up and make sure uh, all the So it's are still, safe. I just pulled them out of the package this morning, like right before we got here. Yeah, we did here. not steam them. So they're this not just steamed or anything, so you know. So this is the three quarter, quarter ruffle bottom. I believe this one is a plus size. This is an extra large that I'm showing here. Oh, it's the extra large. So if it's extra large, then it doesn't come in plus. Um, so it, I think there were two X and three X of these. Nope, small to extra large. Okay. If it's, there if is it's some plus. There is some stuff in here though. I know, I ordered plus size. But this extra large would fit me just fine. Yeah, the, I would say that the one, the extra large is, could almost be a 2X. I don't know about the arms. Can you try it on so we can see for the arms? Yeah, and Sorry. for and for the record, I got on the, we had lost the scale when we moved and I hadn't weighed myself in three months. And so I feel like I really just let things ride and I'm 240 right now. So 246.2. So is it, it's not too tight on his arms, even the XL. So he usually wears a 2X. So yeah. you could probably get away with that even with an XL, so that's good to know. Here, I'm gonna... But it's made to be loose and flowy, so I would just wear a small and enjoy the extra taco room. The extra taco room? I feel like it's got lots of extra taco Well, it wouldn't room. be so bad if you didn't have a shirt underneath it. It's not snug on there. All right, so these are the uh, drawstring French terry pants. Look how much room this has on the bottom. I could eat lots more food. <laughs> these got these, so. They, you could you could like make it like an umbrella. <laughs> so these are plus size. This is the one X, and these have a drawstring and they're lightweight. They're a little bit cropped, I would say. Let me hold it up to my natural waist. Oh no, they come down. No, they're long. So they're long. They're, so these are full size. And they're not they're not pegged like a lot of stuff comes these days. They're they're made to let the air go and be breezy. Yeah, they're a terry material. Nice drawstring. Top. So these come up to a 3X. I like black. It's a really good staple to have in your closet. They're comfy enough to wear to bed, but nice enough that you can wear them in public. And that's kind of like the litmus test for all clothing. Like, can I sleep in it? Can I wear it in public? Then it's good. Oh, the pants are, let me get the price on those, uh, $24.95 for these pants. Oh, did we say how much this shirt is? What? Uh, yes, that one was $16.95. Yes. So this one is- Oh, all free shipping on clothes. This is like uh, the gray leopard print. 
Oh. It's 1595. Caitlin says these are supposed to be cropped. So for no, Zeb. No, there's some other ones, I think. No, for Zeb, they would be cropped. For me, they're full size. So. Yeah. Their ankle biters. Well, what size that. was that? That's 1X. That's 1X, yeah. So that's probably a lot bigger than you would wear anyway. Just a little bit. All right, leopard print. This one, what size is this one? So that's a medium. It's a medium. So this is going to be a small to an extra large. And it's nice and like flowy on the bottom. I could probably try it on over the top of the shirt I'm wearing. It's going to look weird, but give you an idea of the fit. So that this bottom is not tight. So it's a little bit snugger on the top, tighter on the bottom, which is really good. And I also like the long sleeves in this one. Oh, Donna says there's two different pants. All right, we'll just pay attention to what the pants say. So some of these- $15.95 for this top and it has free shipping. Some of these soft. do come in different colors too. I didn't grab every color we had. Hold on, the price tag stuck on my ring. So this one, so Thanks. this is Caitlin the Caitlin dropped small. the correct link. She dropped the other ones. The other ones were cropped. This is small. Yes, but this dress comes in plus sizes. Let me pull up the listing. And some it does, of the you stuff, can see the pockets hanging out. Yeah, some of the stuff I was able to procure in different sizing. So in ash gray, nope, sorry, I lied. This one is only in small to extra large, but it comes in dark purple and ash gray. Ash gray is this color. Oh, you, you picked up both colors. Uh, I think I got both, yeah. So this is like a fun, this is definitely something I could uh, sleep in, but also wear out. You'll and notice Jamie really loves the grays, blacks, and the jewel tones. Hey. I buy things that I want to wear. These dresses are $18.95, which is a phenomenal deal on them. And guess what? You ready? For $18.95, you get a, ruff, a ruffle and a pocket. What? Are these, what are these? That's a romper. A romper? Yep, that's a romper. <laughs> Let me grab the romper, because I think maybe the romper was the one that I got in. Oh, it's a jogger jumpsuit. That's what it says. So. Okay, so that color is teal. And teal, it only comes small to XL. This is a large, so they're made to be loose. Drawstring buttons, you're gonna get the longer sleeves on this, which is nice. But then we also have that in a 1X, 2X, and 3X in black and charcoal. They did not have the teal. So if you want black or charcoal and plus size, we have those. I think, and I think I've got 16 the- $16.95. I think I've got the did charcoal. Did I read that right? $16.95 for an entire outfit. I did really good with my shopping. So these ones, this oh, is the 2X. Size. So this is the charcoal in 2X. You could wear this, you know, those are like those jumpsuits that Papa Chuck used to wear. Yeah. What, no, what those aren't like that. He used to wear the coveralls is what he It was wore. like a one piece situation. I was like, if you gotta go to the bathroom, you gotta like. You know, it must've been really popular like in the forties and fifties because my granddad like also one. had like 20 pairs of those. It's like all he wore. Yep, $16.95. Those are not gonna last, so stock up if you like them. All right, these are 100% cotton. Is that what I'm reading Biker right? Biker shorts. So oh, these... nope, 95% cotton, 5% spandex, so they don't get all super shrinky on you. I like to wear these under like short, all right, so I'm gonna TMI here, but when I wear shorts to run in that are kind of short, I get chafing. <laughs> and so biker shorts are really great to help with the chafing. I also enjoy me some biker shorts um, with underneath dresses that are a little bit shorter, so that way it just keeps me a little modest. So, biker shorts, ten ninety five, free shipping on those. Really soft and comfortable with a t shirt. And to give you an idea of where they fit, they'd come probably about three inches above my knee, and I have like a what size pants? Do I wear thirty inch inseams. Yeah. Yeah. So we have in our in our church we have a uh, there's three wards that meet in our building. That's a congregation. Yeah. And so there's a uh, ward that's predominantly Samoan, I believe. And I see them every Sunday and they've got sarongs on. I'm like, oh, that looks so great. They're wearing so flip flops breezy. and sandals and sarongs. And I'm like, you guys have got it figured out because summer's coming and that looks amazing. I'm here in my suit. So I'm like, nope, I'm like gonna, a sarong right That's what it reminds church. me of. Yeah, it looks like big, roomy, nice. Oh, the jogger jumpsuit does have pockets. Um, I can, what size is the one that you grab? What size is that teal one? Is it a large? The teal one is a large and I would try that on, but it's going to look weird on me, but it's so I don't, you guys probably can't see oh, my it feet. It has the jogger cuffs on the bottom. Yeah, it has fine. cuffs on the bottom, but you guys can't see my feet here, but like holding this up to my, my chin, it's probably hitting me about three inches above my ankle and I'm six two. 
if you're not 6'2", but as the sizes get bigger, like the plus sizes are a little bit longer. I mean, if I were to put this on, my butt would probably hike the, the, uh, the cuff up a little it. bit because I got a dump truck back there, but. This is not a sarong, it's a tulip skirt. It has pockets in it, just like the dress, just like the romper. It's $15.95 with a drawstring. We've carried these before in black and white stripe, but now we've got a navy as well. And it hits me just below the knee. I love, I actually work with the little kids. So I'm always like trying to wear things that I can get down on the floor or whatever with. And this is a really great, um, comfortable skirt to wear. So Pat Dennis just signed up for a couple extra videos a month in printables for channel membership. Welcome we do, Pat. We do two live extra videos on Tuesdays every other week about every, and you get two printables per month, which I still have to get up this month. But the next live channel member video is going to be next Tuesday. We'll post it in community and you'll, it's posts that only channel members will see. So check that out um, in community on YouTube so you can get the link. But also you get fun emojis. You'll get the messy bun emoji. We still need to make the sheep emoji. A lot of behind the scenes stuff happens in those videos. We're, yeah. like, we're like, hey, this is a project we're working on. This is the real life of uh, what it looks like before it gets finished. <laughs> so Diane Johnson would like you to wear that skirt with your shirt and tie. I think really? Bishop would be like, what's up, Zeb? He'd be like, I don't up? think he'd care. Obviously I'm Polynesian, so <laughs> I'm wearing it. Yeah. Can you see? <laughs> hey, I could go the other way and be Viking with a kilt also, because my people, kilt? my people are from there. That's, that's a real deal. And I feel like they really had it figured out. You know, pants are not comfy. I don't love them. I, I wear shorts as long as I possibly can all year, every Sometimes year. Sometimes you have to wear pants. So. All right, so I'm so excited about these. Um, I have been trying to buy these for a long time, but the sets are so expensive. So you come with these biker shorts with a shirt. Now you can wear the whole set. These, I call them loungewear. She came home with the whole set on the other day, and I'm like, I feel like I'm on safari. Because like, do, 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 do. Anyways. Um, they come in camel and gray. This is the camel color. This color only comes in small to XL, but the gray goes all the way up to 3X, and they're kind of tight fitting, so I would say you could wear this shirt with a pair of jeans out if you wanted to, and then you could also just wear like the biker shorts with like a black graphic tee would be really cute. That's how I styled it once I showed up in full leopard. Well, so and she you could just wear it to bed like this. It arrived at the shop and she was unpacking it and she didn't even like she just came home. She didn't tell me she was coming home full leopard. And I'm like, hey, okay, what's going on here? Let me back that story up a little bit. I'm in the shop. I'm with Ashley, who's my cousin, so it's totally chill. And I, she's like, you need to try that on. So of course it's, we're not open. So I like changed in the shop and tried it on right then and there. And I was like, I can't take this off. She wanted to make sure that I brought the right size home. So I wear a medium in these because they're a little tighter fitting. Um, and I wore it home. Okay. And I'm not ashamed. It was, it was great. I was just not expecting it. You know, tulip skirt is definitely true to size. So don't size up or size down. Um, I usually wear like a small or a medium and I wear the same thing. In this so way. I think these are those same pants, the cropped lounge pants. These, these are, are the ones that are cropped. Yeah, but these again, are fifteen ninety five for the top and the bottom, which is a tremendous. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm telling different pricing over here. Well, that's... these are fifteen ninety five. I might need a set of these too. They just, you know, <laughs> the, these are like they don't make comfortable clothes palazzos, for guys. These are cropped palazzos and they have pockets and drawstrings and I'm going to see these. Like everybody's gone to like this <laughs> tight skinny jean. I've never been able to wear a skinny jean. The ever. biker shorts do not have pockets in them, but I will be getting, I'm going to be ordering some biker shorts that are more like exercise shorts with pockets in them. So stay tuned for that because Ashley asked me for those. All right. This, um, does this have the, pockets? These pants are $12.95. So these are actually a really great deal for these. These ones are these plus size? These all feel like softer than t-shirts. Yeah, these are plus size. Like every single one of these things we've been showing you feels like it's softer like it's than brushed, a t-shirt. It's brushed cotton. So this is, we had a bunch of, Leslie had asked for summer dresses in plus size and we had a bunch. We sold out of a lot of sizes. I couldn't order the ones that we had before, but I found this one from the same manufacturer and it's got nice, long, like flowy sleeves and they are, the price I think on here is wrong. So these are $25.95 with free shipping and this oh. is a gray floral and it's not a large floral. I had some plus size people said, don't buy so much large floral. So this is a moderately sized floral pattern. I'd say it's medium floral. 
Jamie, what size are you in the cropped burgundy pants? So these are plus size. Do they come in not plus size? If they do, I'm gonna be so excited. Hold on. Oh, people are buying the biker shorts, everybody else. There are, there are other people in this world that do not enjoy the chafing. <laughs> oh, hold on, let's see. <clears throat> cropped lounge pants. Life's too short to oh, not they be do. comfortable all the time. So um, Donna, I would wear a small in these for sure because this is a 2X. So I would wear a small in these. And I'm super excited that they come not just in plus sizes because I'm gonna go snag me a pair. Don't be jealous when I'm rocking these. I have the long gauchos, but in the summertime, you don't want to wear those with flip-flops because you just step all over the bottom. So these are great with flip-flops. I think that's everything. There might be a couple different color variations and things when you're on the website checking them out, but I think that's all the new clothing for kind of jumping into summer yeah, here. We're going to go show you my, if the you're table. still here, like you stuck it out to the end and so you earn a prize and the prize is, we'll show you my dining table. I don't yeah. know if that's a prize, but, but so people have been asking how it's staged. So I thought it'd be good. She wanted to show you the large centerpiece that we have over here. Yeah. There it is. And it still has bags on it. So I didn't, uh, I didn't pull those all the way up. It's not perfect. Okay. This, this fiddle fig has been abused a little bit, but I just want to say that I've had this fiddle fig. I bought it at Ikea and it has survived since we moved into the house in January. It looks a little dark because of the windows behind oh, us. Oh, I could probably turn the lights on. Oh. That might help. Nah, maybe film from this the other direction. But anyways, this is a crate that we carry on the website and I use it with like old books and then I've got a number four crock in my fiddle fig. These are the hand dipped candles we don't carry but we're thinking about carrying. They're all natural beeswax and they're legit like dipped, dipped. Dipped. My apothecary makes them the same one that does our skincare that has been selling like crazy. So if you bought the skincare and you like it, I would definitely reorder. So that way we don't like, hopefully we don't run out because so far we've been really good about reordering, but it's been selling like hot. Let's see if I can get away the from face those. wash. I feel like the face wash I go through more than anything else because I'm, I'm better at washing my face than the other steps. There, is that oh, better, yeah, is that better is lighting there? So yeah, these are the crates that we got from Round Top. Caitlin, can you link these? Cause I can't remember. I don't know what they're even called, but I know we have a couple still in the shop. Let's see if Carolyn says I'm still here and Donna just bought those cropped pants. Woo -woo. So this just gives you an idea of how you can stage things. I like varying levels. Um, and then this is just a dome that I picked up used in Round Top. And anytime I find cloches, I always buy them. As you can see, I have not made a new table yet. This one's still the narrow, short table. You know what? It's, <laughs> it's good. It's got glitter on it now. And uh, it'll probably go outside eventually. So, all right. So there's my living room. There's our, this dresser is still for sale. If anybody wants to buy it. We haven't it. taken it to the shop yet. We haven't taken it to the shop. So we'd love to sell it to you. So I told them, like, that is going. We, uh, we haven't taken it to the shop yet, and I haven't found a mirror for the bottom of that that we did yet. So we're still waiting to hang that too, that uh, big mirror mantle thing. These are still on sale too. These lavender topiaries are like $24.95. So if you didn't pick some of those up, I think we have a few more left. And then, yeah, so this is my, this is my dining room. But yeah, this is my new... And you know what's funny is this did not happen because I was trying to reset the dining table. This happened because I had a bunch of random crap and I needed to clean it up and then ta-da! It's got books, a bunny, me. a crock with a fiddle fig, a cloche, some candles. Carolyn and Jane said they need the crates. Um, I Hopefully Caitlin can find the link. I can't remember. I think they're like $50 if I remember correctly, $49.95. I know we have a couple left. We've had them for a minute, but those came from Round Top, so I'm not sure if we'll restock after that. Sorry for the crazy camera, guys. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Um, JRVHome.com is where you can pick up all of these products. Um, like I said, some of them that are like antique, legit old, make sure you buy them when you see them because we may not be able to get any more. And then tomorrow, we're gonna have, do you guys want a sneak peek of tomorrow's project? Should we, I mean, it's not very far along. I feel like we could show it to them without. Uh, I think we should wait. Okay. Don't tease them that much. We're doing our mid-century makeover on that nightstand from a few weeks ago. So definitely make sure you hit the notifications button and the see all on the bell so you don't miss tomorrow's video because it's going to be good. It'll be fun. we got a lot of things going on on it to make it look the way we want it to. Yeah, and if you haven't already done so, we put up a video Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, so check those out. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Mary Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us today. 
I'm like, like the hit the end button. The slow, slow walk. walk around the, the oh, island. Oh, Debbie dance. <laughs>